Good afternoon, DC. I'm Kaysen, and here's your news for Wednesday, October 27th. Good luck to the Panthers soccer team as they travel to Frederick Douglass High School in Lexington to take on Covington Catholic in the Final Four of the state soccer tournament starting at 4 p.m. Eastern Time, 3 p.m. Central. Attention students, there will be an FBLA meeting in room 160 Thursday, October 28th at 3.30. Come join us. Learn more about competitions, service projects, and fun activities planned for this year. Attention Student Y Club members. Student Y Club is a student-led organization focused on empowering youth to have a say in government while also giving back to the community. Registration for Go For It, a winter leadership retreat recently opened and preparations for the Kentucky United Nations Assembly will begin next semester. Check out the Student Y Instagram at DCHS Student Y for more information or reach out to Mr. Thompson. Attention students, the DCHS Student Y Club is organizing a drive to provide resources for foster kids. Over the next two weeks, please bring in items if you can contribute. Items needed include hygiene items, lotions, gently used sheets, pillowcases, and gently used coats slash jackets. Please bring these items to Mr. Thompson's room. Now stay tuned for a message from Miss Powers and Guidance. Hi seniors, I'm here today with Miss Nicodemus and we have a couple of events coming up this week really quickly that we wanted to share with you and remind you about. First off, um, tomorrow, Thursday night from 5 to 7 in the Media Center, we have professional FAFSA help available for you. So we are going to be here ready to serve you. So bring your parents, whoever it is that might uh, be helping you with your FAFSA, bring uh, any information you think you might need for that, and we will have people ready to assist you. Several of you have emailed me um, issues that you have or questions, and those are things that are just um, beyond me, um, to be honest. So if you would bring those, we have professionals on hand ready to assist. So we're looking forward to um, a big crowd we hope tomorrow night for FAFSA night for seniors and Miss Nicodemus has another fun event for seniors. Okay guys um, Friday we are putting together senior night at the football game. We are hosting a trunk or treat. All seniors will get into the football game for free with your student ID, your student ID. Um, and then we will be honoring our seniors at, just before the football game. So some at halftime too. Half too. Is it before the football game and at halftime? Yes. Yeah. Okay. To a couple of different groups. So lots of things happening this week for you guys. Um, we're really excited. Hopefully uh, rain holds off. We can open up our trunks, pass out some candy, wear your costume, and come celebrate with us. AP students, this is Mr. Hayden from the guidance department. And as your AP coordinator at Davis County High School, I want to let you all know that there's an update uh, from KDE, the Kentucky Department of Education. They have announced this week that they are covering the cost of AP exams. So now, rather than paying or charging $94 per exam, we can now charge $19 per exam. So if you're a student that has paid the $94 before October 26, we will work in this office to get a reimbursement. You will not need to resubmit payment. Uh, we'll just subtract what you owe and you'll get a check uh, for the difference. For students that have not paid to this point and you are an AP student that plans to test this first semester, so you're a first semester student in an AP class at this moment, your deadline to register and pay the $19 is Monday, November 1st. Please get that check in, come into the guidance department, sign a multiple receipt form, and you will be good to go. Uh, as far as spring semester students or second semester AP students, you will have registration to take place in late January. So pay attention to those announcements. Thank you. Attention students, picture retake will be on Friday, November 5th for underclassmen and the last opportunity for seniors to get a picture for the yearbook. Seniors should wear a clean white tee for tux photos and a tank top or something easy to pull off the shoulder for drape photos. Appointments are not required. We will call on-campus students down by name. Off-campus students can check in through the office anytime from 8.30 to 11.30 a.m. or 1 to 3 p.m. Then report to the auditorium to have their picture taken. Attention students, are you interested in art? Do you like doing art? Do you like hanging around people who do? 
then the DC Fine Arts Society is for you. It is our official art club for Davis County High School. Our first club meeting will be held after school on Friday, November 5th from 3.30 to 4 in Miss Greathouse's room, room 143 in the art department downstairs. Come find out what, people, what we do, hope to do, and meet some really great people. We hope to see you there. Calling all Creative Panthers. We are looking for your creations for the DC 2021 holiday cards. Use whatever media you prefer, paint, draw, digital, etc. To design the front and back of the card, we will send out to the community this holiday season. Submissions are due to Miss Meredith Wilkerson in the front office no later than November 5th. The DC staff will vote to decide the winner. Attention ladies, if you are interested in bowling on the girls bowling team, please contact Coach Byron Johnson by email at byron.johnson at davis.kyschools.us. Here's what's going on today at D.C. The Panthers soccer team is traveling to take on Covington Catholic at Frederick Douglass High School in Lexington starting at 4 p.m. in the state soccer tournament. And the Lady Panthers volleyball team is playing Ohio County in the second round of the regional volleyball tournament at Owensboro Catholic starting at 8 p.m. Stay classy and stay safe, D.C.